A charm. Oh, so yeah. congratulations to Zacardi. But tell them what we found out. <laughs> Listen, you know what? There's this yes. trend that's happening in yeah. gospel music. Yes. I don't know if I like it yet. Mm -hmm. or I don't know what it's all about. It's not really new. It isn't new. No. However, it's just I guess I'm being I'm more aware of it now that I'm a little bit older. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that we were talking about Isabel Davis and wide as the sky. And I was like, wait a minute. And then I was, I kept thinking to myself, <laughs> have I heard this song before? Mm -hmm. And it is originally done by Matt Redman. It was a worship song yeah. from like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So what is this trend that, I don't want to say it like this, but I'm going to say it like this and that black gospel artists are taking worship songs from white worship and artists country songs and country songs mm -hmm. and turn them around and mm -hmm. bring them to the black community like we don't listen to anything other than but that's not really nothing gospel. new they've no, all right. yeah it they've is. always done that it, it, that's, true. that's true the whiners have done it you know everybody's done it especially everybody's with the contemporary christian songs Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just late to the party. <laughs> I will concur that I'm late to the party. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Where do we but leave off I at? I like it. I like it. Yeah. Number 17 was the Well, yeah, you, you thought it sounded familiar, and, I, you know, and you were right. So like, uh, there you go. Like, you know who else did that? Who? Uh, Bishop Paul S. Morton. Oh, I'm sure he when probably he does did, it uh, a lot. Open the foot, let it rain, let it rain. Mm -hmm. That was actual Michael W. Smith. Oh, we'll see. You know, did you and know And it that? probably was a hit, too. For Michael for him. W. Smith? Yeah. Absolutely. An yeah. international hit. Yeah. So I'm not mad. I just want to know, Lord, let me write a song. Don't try to That's trick it. us. <laughs> Number 20 was James Fortune. Isabel Davis had 19. B.B. Yes. Winans is back. He's coming back. Now, he went away. <laughs> He didn't go 31 far. weeks. He went away and he has actually re entered the countdown at number 18. And you know why that is? Because people are people just liking the song. Yeah. Well, people want and to you know, laugh. sometimes that happens. It's like you can release a song down south and on the east coast of the Midwest and oh, it, yeah. it, it starts going up the countdown and then it goes away. Then, wow, let's release it on the west coast. And then everybody loves it and there it goes yeah, again. There it so goes again. that can happen. You know. uh, coming up next, though, Moret's brother. So she's in uh -huh. front of him. He made a jump from number 19 from last week. He's been in the countdown only six weeks yeah. with this song. It's number 16. It. It's called Blessings on Blessings. So it's it. doing great. And we're going to see which brother or sister makes it to the top. Oh, man. You know what would be cool <laughs> is that if they had a thing and then CeCe Winans enters the countdown this summer. <laughs> so it will be the battle of the siblings. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's going to be so good. Absolutely. That would be great. And the thing about that is that they all can sing and they're all anointed. And I love all of their ministry. So mm -hmm. that would bring joy to my heart. Y'all listening? Are y'all listening to it? But it's not praise. I'm telling you. I just told you something. <laughs> All right, let's take a break and come back right. with Anthony Brown. All right, <laughs> blessings on blessings. <laughs> I was so ghetto. <laughs>